Hey everyone, this will be the weekly Twin Flame Collective Energy Update. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending each and every one of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not be for any specific sign. Sign. If I do see zodiac signs come out, I will mention them. Um, please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings if you're interested. Um, there's a link in the description box, or you can click the join button below. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you are interested in collective readings. All right. So what is going on with my twin flames? What is going on with my twin flame collective at this time? What do they need to know? We did just have a full moon. Um, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. I feel like it was still going on yesterday to, at some point, though. Um, this was It was a super moon. We do have another one at the end of the month. Um, and we are in the midst of a million retrogrades right now, too. So 111 on the camera as I'm saying this. There's new beginnings coming in. Um, everyone's getting more in tune with their feelings and emotions and their intuition. And I feel like um there's about to be a lot of changes big changes coming in so let's see what the tarot has to say let's see what the tarot has to say so we have the moon right as i'm isn't that hilarious guys <laughs> i was just saying the moon so something happened with this full moon that we just had but um let's see pisces energy with the moon we have the seven of wands We have the nine of cups. You know what I'm already getting is that like with this full moon, you know, with full moons, we release, we release, right? We, we, or that's what we should be doing is releasing, letting things go a lot. Something was let go of. It could have been an illusion. Somebody could have let go of a karmic relationship, co complicated relationship, but something um, was let go of here. Something that was like creating a, a blockage is what I'm blockage to a, a wish fulfillment, a wish coming through. Mm hmm. Some of you guys also you some of you guys could have um, let go of somebody. You guys could even had to let put place boundaries or um, let your twin go for some of you. Um, but I do see that you have wish fulfillment coming in. So tell me more. Something was released with this full moon. So now we have money focus. So some of you guys are choosing to focus on your money and maybe put love on the back burner. Or that's what the person, your twin, was maybe choosing money over you or something about money over you. Or money has been affecting this connection. Clarify the moon. We have the four of pentacles. So, yeah, somebody was holding on to something. Yeah, somebody was holding back or holding on to something. Holding on to something that was an illusion. Or somebody was holding on to some type of comp complicated... I heard toxic relationship. Hmm. For some of you, it could have been fears and anxiety. Talk about the seven of wands. See the se sexual encounter. Somebody is no longer like, somebody has like set boundaries when it comes to like a sexual relate. Like just say somebody had like a friends of benefit. Well, three, three, three on the camera. So somebody is feeling the need to make some type of big change, like, or cut somebody out of their life. So you guys can maybe be setting boundaries with your twin right now because you feel like they just maybe want to sleep with you. If this is, or this is somebody that you're either setting boundaries with like external from you, or this is them, like they could be setting boundaries with somebody that they've had some type of conflict, complex relationship with that. They've been just having, like, it was just sex or lust, or it's like, take it how it resonates, or this is you. Okay. Um, tell me about the nine of cups, the king of cups. So Pisces, cancer, Scorpio energy, you guys are having like, oh, there's wish fulfillment coming in for you guys of a loving and devoted and emotionally mature, protective um, masculine, it could be a feminine for some of you coming into your life. Okay. Tell you about the money focus card. Yeah. Eight of cups. Somebody is walking away. Okay. Either this is you guys walking away from this person and focusing on your money, or somebody is walking away from something that they were just in for the wrong reason, sex and money or something like that. Yeah. Leaving the past behind seeking deeper meaning. Yeah. I'm going to see where you guys fit into this situation. Queen of Wands on the back of the deck. So that's Aries Leo Sag energy. Somebody's feeling very attracted to you. Yeah, somebody feels like you're a catch. Like somebody's afraid that they're going to lose you. They feel like you're very attractive. They feel like you. Yeah, Ten of Wands. 
somebody, but this person knows that they're going to, they, this is, I feel like it's somebody else. I feel like it, just like I said, take out resonates. It could have been you or it could have been this person. Let me open my window, make, give this a little bit more light. Um, it's like they're releasing something because they found somebody that they feel very drawn to and somebody that they feel is very attractive and somebody that they feel like is a catch. Like you got all your shit together. Like you're the total package. But with the Ten of Wands here, somebody was like holding on to something that was really burdening them, like some other responsibilities. Mm -hmm. This person's been resisting. You're, yeah, the, the masculine's been resisting the connection, not undecided about you for whatever freaking reason. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of thinking about you. They were definitely juggling you or something like that. Resisting change. They they do have feelings and emotions for you, but. All right, so tell me about seven. Of, what does sexual encounter and seven of wands mean for my collective? What's this mean for my collective? The magician. So it says making things manifest what you want wants you. So tell me more. Aries energy, whatever. Sometimes for some of you it's Gemini, Virgo, whatever. The fool. Yeah, somebody wants to, there's some type of new beginning manifesting for you. What does the Seven of Wands and the Sexual Encounter card mean for their twin? Judgment. See, what about that? Somebody maybe Scorpio energy, Queen of Pentacles. What about the Queen of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles. What does this mean for my collective? Judgment, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the devil. What? Capricorn energy. What about the devil? Tame. Somebody feels like they're obsessed with you. Somebody feels like it's very hard to stay away from you. Somebody, this is maybe them. They, they have like a very intense sexual desire for you. What does sexual encounter mean? They definitely have somebody else though too, guys. I swear. So are some of you, they're married. Or it's somebody that they're in some type of like work partnership with or somebody that they work with. I don't know, but um what does this sexual encounter mean for my collective directly is this them knight of swords so yeah sudden arrival and then what three of wands okay what's this mean for this connection the see there's something coming okay what's this mean? what's death mean for this connection what's the t justice hmm this is interesting. You guys are, you, I know for sure you guys are manifesting a new beginning. Somebody is obsessed with you. Your twin, your twin is obsessed with you, but they also have some type of addiction or destructive habits. They're toxic, like I said, and they have toxic attachments. But this person's, you're, you're, it says taming a player, trying to resist temptation. Yeah, like, you're dealing with something that could have been like very promiscuous or they were a player, but now it says taming a player. So maybe this person's starting to want to not. I feel like this person is wanting to have something balanced with you. What does Queen of Pentacles mean from, oh, hold on. What does Queen of Pentacles mean for my collective? Yeah, this person thinks that you guys are a perfect match. Queen and, Queen and King of Pentacles here. Some of you guys could be earth signs. This could be a double earth sign relationship for some of you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy Capricorn here. This person's making some type of final decision here with judgment. They're wanting to renew this or they're wanting another chance to give you something balanced. Because it, it was definitely... So why are they making... Yeah, why do, We also have... Um, I was hearing Taurus in my head, but yeah, here fought on the back of the deck. Taurus energy. This person has been very conflicted about leaving like whatever they've been living in before you has been toxic but they've been very conflicted about leaving that behind and coming toward you for whatever reason it's it's been hard for them to make that decision but i feel like this person's about to come in out of nowhere wanting to take things to the next level or something like that wanting to take a leap of faith into the unknown like but it's like with death what is death and what's the t the four of swords this person feels like this person wants to know if you're done with them is what I'm getting from this because you guys are withdrawing your energy from them. Are you like, yeah, like they want to know what's up with you. Yeah, they're going through. Oh, see, look at this. Yeah. Feeling of oneness, surrendering, wants you back, moving into alignment. Mm -hmm. 
Now somebody wants you back now that you've withdrawn your energy here. Now they think you guys are perfect, that you guys are supposed to be together. King and Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. This person. So I want to know more of what was going on. What is the Seven of Wands, though? What's the Seven of Wands? The King of Wands, okay. And what? This person's about to fight for you. That's what this is. But why is that? I don't like sexual encounter, though. What is, why is sexual? I don't like that, though. What a wheel of four. So something is changing. How, changing in what way? That's coming to an end. Okay. So what's happening here is, um, I feel like they had another person. I'm gonna be honest with you. Somebody's walking away from something. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be like another person. It could have been just a situation, a living, whatever. But this person's about to take some type of action to fight for you with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sad. Some of you, it is an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, but this is just more of them like wanting everything with you, feeling very drawn to you, feeling very attracted to you, taking charge of a situation, coming in, fighting for your love. Because like I said, I saw this earlier, they feel like you are a catch. Like somebody is determined to like conquer you or to have you, like they're afraid of losing you. So they're about to take some type of action here. Um, and when I clarified sexual encounter, we had wheel of fortune. So if this, up until this point, you have felt like this person was more lustful with you, or they just like, it was more, you, you were maybe questioning whether or not this was a sexual bond and not love, or you and this person just maybe just had sexual encounters. But other than that, they weren't giving you much more than that. For some of you, this person was confused about whether or not this was love or lust. Okay. Spirit says that's going to be changing. It says fate and destiny change in your love life. And I asked him what, what type of change? Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Well, you have a romantic proposal coming in. Love is arriving, arriving. So it's like now this person is wanting to put more of their their love and emotions and everything into this, okay? Coming in with an offer. But it's we have divine timing on the back of the deck. So Spirit is saying surrender to the unknown. It will happen in divine timing. Just know that this person that was resisting this connection at some point, and it made, there may be a lot of uncertainty around this connection, this person is going to come in and want to fight for you because they feel like you are a catch and they, they have a fear of losing you. They don't want anything. They don't, they feel like losing you would be a big loss. So even though something, things may be uncertain right now, it looks like this person is going to be coming in to fight for you. So tell me about money focus and eight of cups, the chariot. What about the chariot? What is eight of what's being walked away from here with the eight of cups, the magician, What does Eight of Cups mean for this person? The Two of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups mean for my collective? Lessons. I feel like you guys are walking away from this person because you know that separation is necessary. There's divine lessons that need to be taught. Yeah, King of Pentacles again. Yeah. It's like you guys maybe know that maybe one day this person... What about the King of Pentacles and Lessons? The three of pentacles. See, what about the three of pentacles? Divinely guided. Yeah, like you're trusting the journey. You're walking away from them. What's this mean for my collective? Healing. Yeah, you just, you're just you accepting the situation for what it is. You're accepting the fact that this person still, they're not ready. You need to separate yourself from this for right now. Maybe you're shifting your focus onto your money or your career, your purpose or something like that. Um, what is three of pentacles though? They need to work on themselves. That's what I'm getting from. The, yes, exactly. Yes. They need to work on themselves. Maybe you guys both do mirroring on the back of the deck. You guys are both needing to go through like some type of like dark night of the soul or like you guys need this disconnection. Because I feel like you guys are needing to work on yourselves. You need to work on your healing. It says accepting to grow self-care, healthy choices. Yeah. So it's like you're kind of just being divinely guided to walk away from this right now. Um. And what does that mean for this person? I still think that they want you. You still, you still maybe desire you. You desire them. They still desire you. What's this mean for this person? Justice, yeah. Soul contract, balance being restored. Libra energy, yeah. Page of Cups, happy surprises, love, visitor message. You're gonna hear from this person. Them wanting to make something right with you. You're gonna get an apology from them. Yeah. Mm hmm. But what? Why is rejection here? wishing and re it's like this person is either regretting rejecting you or resisting this connection maybe the only thing that's holding them back from coming in with this apology is their ego but it's like this person wants you back like they're suffering and so that's what this is somebody wants you back but their ego 
they need to overcome this ego. I feel like eventually they will, but it's like this person's thinking about you. They're replaying events, rereading messages, suffering in silence, missing you. They want you back. But you guys are starting to move into alignment here. Clarify rejection for this person. Yeah, Knight of, Pen Knight of Swords, okay? And Five of Cups. Yeah, I told you, regret. It's like they're going to regret this. Why were they reject? Why is this reject? Why were they even in this energy? Yeah, hiding their feelings. They were unawakened. Yeah. But Spear says there's hope with the star here. Yeah, it says doesn't totally understand their love for you. Feeling insecure, fear of vulnerability. So it looks like they're going to end up coming back. They're going to be regretting this. Yeah, they're going to be coming back wanting. Um, what does the fool mean for this connection? Aquarius energy. What does the fool mean for this connection? The sun. Yeah, there's going to be growth here. There's going to be joy and happiness, renewal. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, steady union, gifts, new great. Yeah, so I don't feel like this is new. I feel like this is you guys, this person coming back and actually giving you something solid, actually investing. But it's like there's definitely going to be this disconnection that you and this person are in currently was definitely needed. All right, I want to get a clarity on what is money focus? What does money focus mean for my collective? The Hierophant. Some of you guys do something like for your work that's like spiritual, okay? Um, you, you're a reader like me. You have like, you do Reiki. You, you do something. I don't know. You're a medium. I don't know. Something spiritual you possibly do for work and you're focusing on that. Some of you guys could even be like preachers or something like something spiritual or religious. Um, or some of you guys are even teachers. Yeah, some of you guys can be teachers or something along those lines. Um, you're focusing on that right now. Or you're just focusing on your spirituality, but it has something to do with money. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, finance. Good. What about Page of Pentacles? Money focus and Page of Pentacles. Temperance. Yeah, you're just like focusing on your money. You're focusing on newness. And you're focusing on being patient and, you know, being patient with the divine timing. Yeah. Solitude, spending time alone, Virgo energy, Sag energy here too. Taurus again, soul searching. That's what you guys are spending your time doing. Um, yeah. Like you guys are both like kind of like in this energy or will be in this energy, or you guys are also in this energy where you're like, refute, like rejecting offers. You and this person could be mirroring each other in this aspect, but you guys are both like putting in the work or working on yourselves. Yeah. like. Yeah, I feel like you guys are not happy about being apart from one another, but this is necessary. Like, it was necessary for you guys to both go within, okay? So you guys are also, like, focusing on, like, you know, having, like, a better, like, work ethic or something like that. A better, better habits when it comes to your money and your work. I don't know. So right now you're shifting your focus onto money. And maybe that's what this person is also doing at this time. Hmm. Okay. So let's see what else is going on here. We have stuck in a loop. So this was somebody that you kept repeating a cycle with. So that could be also what the ending is, like an ending of a repeating cycle between you and this person. That's why they're saying that things are about to change. Up until this point, I feel like things have been more like sexual based or like they've come towards you with, unfortunately, unfortunately, guys, they've not been awakened to this connection. So they felt something bet that was between the two of you, but like it was more lust intent with this person, to be honest with you. But yeah, we have stuck in a loop. So it says a pattern has become familiar to them and they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating. Yeah. They say they want to approach you differently or they will want to approach you differently in the future. Yeah, there we have dark night here again. So you and this person are about to, or they're about to enter the dark night of the soul. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves in the connection. So they're being, they're going through it. Either they're already currently going through it or they're about to be going through it. But it's for their for you, the highest good, their highest good, and it's going to also lead to union here. We have solitude. Time spent in solitude has given them. Yeah, they're about to be like spending time alone. Like if they did have another person, I don't think they're going to be with that person anymore. 
this full moon could have cleared out something that they were holding on to that was not good for them. Mm -hmm. Either they cleared it out or somebody cleared them out. I don't know. That's what I'm getting from this. Something happened with this full moon. Something ended. Something was released or something will be released by the end of this month. After this or by, yeah, by the end of this net, the second full moon of the month. But it says time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. Yeah, I feel like this person does not have their shit together. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I feel like they don't have their life together. And that's why they definitely need to focus on their money. They they can't offer you anything solid if their life is not solid. We have broken. So it says they feel broken inside and don't feel stable. Right as I said, what did I just say? Don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Please be patient in, in multiple aspects, not even just their money situation. They're just not stable within themselves. Um, yeah, they need to heal. And until they heal, you know, hurt people, hurt people. So until they heal, they're going to keep, you know, burning you. But yeah, I told you they miss you. They definitely miss you. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. So part of them feels like they didn't really mess up and that it's just going to be too late. Um, we have divinely guided though. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. So yeah, divine timing has come out more than once. Yeah, the fight. I'm telling you, what did I say, guys? Divine, this is pretty much just confirming what I was already telling you. In divine timing, or this person is being divinely guided to fight for you. It says the fight, their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. So this person has fears of intimacy and love and being vulnerable. And they obviously have to fight to overcome those things if they want to be in a romantic relationship with you. Yeah, divine. the divine's intervening. Mm -hmm, look at this. We have, they're experiencing many tar moments in their life. The divine, I'm telling you, something was either this full moon, something that was outside of their control cleared out something. Whether it made you finally put the, you know, walk away from this person or their, something's being cleared out of their life. Because it does, there's multiple ener energies here of this person going through massive upheaval. So everything is like their life's being turned upside down. Because I feel like they were holding on to something that was not good at all. Um, but it says they are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. So we have plotting. Yeah. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options. So they, they, that's, what's also making them have this fear of losing you is that they think that, you know, you can have anybody you want or that you have other options that you're exploring. So yeah, they're trying to come up with a plan here while they're in this solitude. It says dealt a bad hand. They wish they'd met you at a, in a different time because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been. They're a little bit, because what it could have been is this, power couple. They see that both of you have an ex equal exchange of power, which can make you unstoppable as a couple. I told you, this person's wanting something. They think you guys are the king and the queen of pentacles. They think you guys can be, be very abundant together, make a lot of money together, be very stable together. Um, they think that they want something balanced with you. They may be seeing this a little bit too late. Um, but we do, they just know that you're no longer like playing games with them. Like you guys, like either maybe you guys really like went off on this person or so you guys like got really angry with this person and you told them about yourselves, you cussed them out. I don't know. Cause says they fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. That's what I'm saying. This person knows that I see, I, I see that they desire to come towards you differently and they have to come towards you differently. I feel like this person, you, you know, you were, I feel like in this situation, you are very kind and loving to this person, right? Until they pushed you to your freaking limit. They pushed you. So now it's like they fear your wrath, but it says innocence. Your innocence innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but they feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves. So yeah, divine truth. We, we are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are. So for some of you, there was an illusion that came to an end. Some Something is happening. Maybe this the moon can be about illusions. So like there was maybe some type of divine truth that was revealed too, but it says we are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are, bring light to all that has been hidden. So yeah, something was hidden or, hmm. But yeah, the telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints upon their heart. So I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. I want to take a deeper look to see more of what was released with this full moon, what they walked, whatever this was. I want to see more clear, get more clarity on what it was um, get you guidance, timing, all of that will be in the, um, extended reading, um, their feelings, all of that. Um, the link will be in the, in the description box, or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, 
And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.